everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Trumpet of Truth. I'm your host, Ji King. June 28th and 29th of 2018 at the Panacea Museum Gardens in Bedford, UK, the Center for the Critical Study of Apocalyptic and Millenarian Movements, CINSAM, held a conference on apocalyptic literature, the final disaster, and the millennium. The event was attended by such renowned religious scholars as Christopher Rowland, Oxford's Emeritus Professor of the Exegesis of Holy Scripture, Massimo Intravigne, Managing Director of Italy's Center for Studies on New Religions, and also Matthew Askey, a priest serving at Southwell Minister Cathedral in Nottinghamshire, England. At the conference, Professor Intravigne gave a lecture titled Filming the Age of Kingdom. Based on the Church of Almighty God's musical, Mankind Regains the Sanctity They Once Possessed, this stimulating and refreshing lecture provided a clear interpretation of the appearance of the Millennial Kingdom. Recent years have seen ever more severe disasters across the globe. The world grows more chaotic, the celestial events have occurred, and the Bible's prophecies are coming true. Within every region, people sense an impending disaster. One can't help but ask, will the great disaster in the last days destroy the earth? Where exactly will the millennium first appear? And just who will gain permission to enter? At the conference, world-renowned religious scholar Professor Intravigne spoke of the mystery revealed by Christ of the last days, Almighty God, the millennial kingdom. The kingdom of Christ prophesied in the Bible's book of Revelation will appear on earth following the great catastrophe. For every member of humanity, this is simply fantastic news. This news relates to the fate as well as destination of every single one of us. Today, we've invited two brothers of the Church of Almighty God to hold an in-depth discussion of the news communicated by Professor Intravigne. Here we have Brother Mingxi and also Brother Zhang Jin. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. In Professor Intravigne's lecture, he communicated that Almighty God's appearance and work during the last days, which ended the Age of Grace and ushered in the Age of Kingdom, is primarily for the purpose of resolving man's sinful nature and bringing those who have been purified into the Millennial Kingdom. Brothers, at this point I would like to ask, why must people experience God's work of judgment during the Age of Kingdom, and why can they only enter the Millennial Kingdom once their sinful natures have been purified? Both these questions are related to God's management plan for the salvation of all mankind. God's work of saving man happens in three ages. The Old Testament age of law, the New Testament age of grace, and then the age of kingdom of the last days. In the age of law, Jehovah God decreed laws to guide man to being conscious of sins. In the age of grace, the Lord Jesus was crucified to redeem mankind and pardon man's sins. The age of kingdom is when Almighty God expresses truths that judge man utterly resolving man's sinful nature. These three stages of work form the entirety of God's management plan. Once the Age of Kingdom's judgment purifies people, they will enter the Age of Millennial Kingdom. This will be made more clear if we read Almighty God's Word. Mm, great. Almighty God says, When Jesus came into the world of man, He brought the Age of Grace and ended the Age of Law. During the last days, God once more became flesh. And when He became flesh this time, He ended the age of grace and brought the age of kingdom. All those who accept the second incarnation of God will be led into the age of kingdom and be able to personally accept the guidance of God, though Jesus did much work among man. He only completed the redemption of all mankind and became man's sin offering and did not rid man of all his corrupt disposition. Fully saving man from the influence of Satan not only required Jesus to take on the sins of man as the sin offering, but also required God to do greater work to completely rid man of his disposition, which has been corrupted by Satan. And so, after man was forgiven his sins, God has returned to flesh to lead man into the new age and begun the work of chastisement and judgment. And this work has brought man into a higher realm. Please allow me to read. Okay. Almighty God says, When God makes people perfect, He purifies them, and the purer they are, the more they are made perfect by God. When the impurity 
rebelliousness, opposition, and things of the flesh within you are expelled. When you have been purified, then you will be beloved by God, and in other words, you will be a saint. When you have been made perfect by God and become a saint, you will be in the millennial kingdom. Today, people are made perfect, refined, enlightened, and guided through words. This is the age of kingdom. It is the stage of people being made perfect, and it has no connection to the age of millennial kingdom. This means we are now in the age of kingdom, not the age of millennial kingdom. Correct. The words of Almighty God clearly state that though when we believe in the Lord we are able to pray and our sins are forgiven, though we may enjoy God's grace and are no longer of sin, our sinful natures and satanic disposition do remain deeply rooted within. For example, we are arrogant, deceitful, quite selfish, and we often tell lies, opposing and rebelling against God. God's holy and righteous. How could he permit those who oppose and rebel against him to enter his kingdom? Thus, the Lord Jesus promised to return, to carry out the judgment work of the last days. Lord Jesus of the last days, Almighty God, returned. He ended the age of grace and began the age of kingdom, and he did the work of judgment beginning with the house of God, thoroughly cleansing and saving man. One may enter the millennial kingdom only if they've experienced the judgment work of the age of kingdom and have had their dispositions purified. Entry to the millennial kingdom isn't as easy as people might think. They can't enter God's kingdom just through the Lord Jesus' work of redemption. They must also experience the judgment work done by God during the age of kingdom. Only once their satanic disposition has been cleansed may they enter the millennial kingdom. So how does the millennial kingdom appear? Brother Mingxi, please take over. Mm, how the millennial kingdom appears, you see, is inseparable from Almighty God's work of judgment during the age of kingdom. In 1991, when Christ of the last days, Almighty God, appeared and worked, the world entered the age of kingdom of the last days. Today, Almighty God's work of judgment and cleansing with words is approaching its end. God has made a group of overcomers. The disaster foretold in the book of Revelation is about to strike. And when it has passed, God will lead those who survive it to the age of millennial kingdom. And at that time, Christ's kingdom will appear here on earth. Fulfilling the Bible's prophecies, the tabernacle of God is with men, new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven. And there is also the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. This fact tells us that when God creates his kingdom on earth, then the kingdoms of this world shall all become the kingdoms of Christ. Thanks be to God. Christ's kingdom appearing on earth is God's prophecy and it must be fulfilled. It is in the process of coming true. So just now, you said that before God's kingdom arrives on earth, great disasters will strike, is that right? Hmm, yes. Many believe once the great disaster of the last days has passed, the entire world of mankind will be destroyed. In his speech, Professor Intravigne asserts that after the catastrophe, earth will not be destroyed. Rather, the earth will transform into the eternal home of God's purified followers. Brothers, may I ask what you think of this? Well, in fact, what Professor Intravene asserted is absolutely compatible with the prophecies and God's words. It is written in the book of Zechariah, And it shall come to pass, that in all the land, said Jehovah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they shall say, Jehovah is my God. Almighty God's word is more clear. Let's read his words now. Mm, okay. Almighty God says, but know that I will not annihilate the entire world, nor will I annihilate the whole of mankind. I will keep that remaining third, the third that loves me and has been thoroughly conquered by me, and I will cause this third to be fruitful and multiply on earth. 
just as the Israelites did under the law, nourishing them with copious sheep and cattle and all the riches of the earth. After God's work ends, among all his creatures, there will be those who will be destroyed and those who will survive. This is an inevitable trend of his management work. No one can deny this. Evildoers cannot survive. Those who obey and follow him to the end are certainly to survive. As this work is that of humanity's management, there will be those who remain and those who are eliminated. These are different outcomes of different types of people, and these are the most suitable arrangements for his creatures. In the passages we just read, Almighty God's words and the Bible's prophecies clearly tell us that man won't all be destroyed by God unleashing the great disasters. Rather, only those who are hostile to God and who oppose God will be eliminated. Um, in the catastrophe, all God's chosen ones will still undergo some trials and refinement. Those ultimately purified and made perfect as God's people, they'll survive. They'll enter the age of millennial kingdom, where they'll enjoy God's promises. Well, at this point, I'm sure everyone is eagerly awaiting the age of millennial kingdom God prepared for man. At the conference, Professor Intravignier summarized the Church of Almighty God's musical, Mankind Regains the Sanctity They Once Possessed. In it, he mentioned the Millennial Kingdom's arrival on Earth several times. So, brothers, could you tell us what the words of God say about the Millennial Kingdom's eventual arrival on Earth and the beautiful scenes that will follow? Thanks to God. While the life of the Millennial Kingdom is the beauty of kingdom foretold in Revelation, this is what we who believe in the Lord have been waiting for, the beautiful destination God prepared for mankind. It's a fact that will ultimately be accomplished by God's 6,000-year management plan. This will become more clear when we read more of Almighty God's words. Great. Almighty God says, The arrival of the Millennial Kingdom on Earth is the arrival of God's words on Earth. New Jerusalem's descent from Heaven is the arrival of God's words to live among man to accompany man's every action and all his inmost thoughts. This is also the fact that God will accomplish and the wonderful scene of the Millennial Kingdom. As my words are consummated, the Kingdom is gradually formed on Earth and man has gradually returned to normality, and thus there is established on Earth the Kingdom in my heart. In the Kingdom, all the people of God recover the life of normal man Gone is the frosty winter, replaced by a world of cities of spring, where it is spring all year round. No longer are people faced with the gloomy, miserable world of man. No longer do they endure the cold chill of the world of man. People do not fight with each other. Countries do not go to war against each other. No longer is there carnage and the blood that flows from carnage. All lands are filled with happiness and everywhere teems with warmth between men. Thanks be to God. Here are more of Almighty God's words that mention the beauty of the kingdom. Please read it for us. Okay. Almighty God says, Throughout the universe, my chosen people live in my glory, blessed beyond compare, not as people living among people, but as people living with God. All things come back to life. All saints are back in heavens serving me entering my warm embrace, no longer weeping, no longer anxious, offering up themselves to me, returning to my home. And in their homeland, they will love me endlessly, unchanging. Where is the sorrow? Where are the tears? Where is the flesh? The earth is no longer, the heavens are forever. I appear to all peoples, and all peoples praise me. This life, this beauty, from time immemorial and forevermore will not change. This is life in the kingdom. Thank Amen. God. This is the life in the heavenly kingdom long awaited by us who believe in God. The words of Almighty God clearly show that the age of millennial kingdom is the time when Christ and the words of God hold such substantial power. At this time, the evil forces of Satan will have all been destroyed. No more will Satan interfere. No more will people trick or oppress one another. No pain nor worry. All will be right and just. Peaceful and contented people will be happy. 
people will actually live on earth as if in heaven. It can be said that after the great disasters, the time of the millennial kingdom will indeed be the time of great prosperity. Amen. The heavenly kingdom will appear on earth. And this fulfills the book of Revelation's prophecy. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You see, during the age of millennial kingdom, in fact, God will still speak and offer guidance for man's life here on earth. During this time, people will live by God's words. People will obey and worship God. What's more is God's words will rule among man. As in the Lord Jesus' prophecy, Your kingdom come, Your will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Amen. I am just so grateful to God. Thanks to God. When the Lord's Prayer, Lord Jesus taught us to memorize, comes true, how great life in the millennial kingdom will be. Thank you, brothers, for giving this interview. In summary, through the brothers' fellowship and discussion today, we know that the age of kingdom of the last days is when God performs his judgment work to purify and save mankind, and is when great disasters fall and destroy the old world. It's also when all people in the world will be renewed and changed. All who welcome Lord Jesus' return and accept God's judgment of the last days will have the chance to be purified and saved and enter the age of millennial kingdom. Today, Almighty God's judgment work, beginning with the house of God, is drawing to a close. God has made His group of overcomers, and the great disasters are about to strike upon us. Once they have ended, the millennium, the kingdom of Christ, will appear right here on earth. Well, my friends, that's all we have for today's program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Till then.